Good afternoon, hello, and welcome my KNX members to the famous KNX IOTech Forum 2023. I would like to send you warm welcome and greetings from here, where we are just this week exhibitor meeting and doing a lot of uh, activities at the Worldwide IoT Solution Conference in Barcelona, next to IEC show, where we're also a part of it. I am proud to present you today the future in home and building automation, which is IoT. And let me make in the beginning the important statement, which I want to prove with my presentation. Buildings have become IP driven. IoT, IP, let's start with IoT. If someone asks me what means IoT, I always want to show him this nice picture, which I could now duplicate a triple and five times more because this is just a picture I got maybe four years ago and this time again I guess it's much more bigger much more wider there are so many thousands uh, 10,000 100,000 uh, IoT so not KNX, IoT devices available entering our life our buildings but are the buildings well prepared for all those devices? They are mostly, yeah, they are mostly working and the technology is IP. I guess most of the buildings you know you're living in, you're walking in, are looking like that. They are simple, less infrastructure, nice building, nice architecture, but the infrastructure is not that given and prepared for so many nice IoT devices. In the future, we will have the infrastructure. To be honest, the story of buildings becoming somehow smart or in the direction of IP-driven buildings is pretty short. Less than 10, 15 years ago, we had traditional buildings. Then we got, in the last 10, 15 years, automated operation buildings, where we have system with on-room buildings management um, solutions. The last couple of years, we became more and more connected, operated, smart buildings, where remote buildings controls with centralized management solutions came into our buildings. And finally, if we look a bit forward to the future, we will have self-adapting operations. So, so how, somehow collaborative buildings where intelligent uh, buildings automation with the ability to self-adapt and options. We'll optimize, sorry. So that's the store of buildings. Right now, as we don't have the structure, the infrastructure as given or expected by IP-driven buildings, there's a cloud where all those IoT devices like sensors, edge devices, controllers, connected fire panels, and many more all together meeting, controlled, synchronizes in the cloud. That's it right now. We have a lot of good existing building management solutions. Just a few of them mentioned here, BACnet, KNX, of course, ZigBee, FDNet, and many, many more. So we have them all. Are they well prepared for IP-driven buildings? Um, I would say right now, no, but we are on the way to it because we still those all those um, systems are having different application transport network link and of course physical layer. We need to move them to somehow IP for network communication, well-known protocols, open standards based on IP physical labor. 
the way to do that, we already started. We built, we founded market interest group where standards joining forces. It is not a new organization, but existing big organizations working together and it is marketing focused group. IP Bliss, Internet Protocol for Building and Lighting Standards. We are pretty proud that we founded together with big organizations like CSA, Meta, Becknet, DALI, uh, Threads, and of course, KNX. So we're all together looking forward, promoting, and pushing all our systems into IP driven buildings. Right now, today, we have many, we have plenty buildings technologies. There are more connected devices in smart buildings every day, but they are all separate. Separate means we need bridges, routers, whatever, to connect them together. Each system is independently working with their new own proprietary solution. So to connect them, to bring them one infrastructure is right now not possible. There's all silos not working together and we need a building IT network could combine them together. And this combination has to be secure IP basis infrastructure. In the future, that's what we want to do, what we want to do with commercial buildings based on our IP bliss uh, connectivity, no silos, no proprietary application, but allow multiple systems to communicate, it, communicate together using cloud services, cloud computing, and so on. One building IT network working together based on IP. Our vision of IP bliss common initiative to make commercial buildings more responsive to the needs of users by promoting a secure, multi-standard, IP-based, harmonized IoT solution. And our goal is harmonization of access to an IP network with connected building automation products, allowing for better integration. We are on the way for it, and we are pretty successful together. There are a lot of benefits advantage of this uh, marketing group. We will have one single IP backbone, common security and simplified support administration. Just three of many other benefits I would like here to mention. Ladies and gentlemen, oops, we can do that in different ways. We have a problem. We have isolated building automation domains and networks. We can combine them together, but we need gateway. Gateway, additional infrastructure, additional support, administration, administration. It means a lot of cost, time, and for sure, not so easy to use for anyone with working for uh, IP-based buildings. So another idea, why not converge of the application layer doesn't always work. I mean, that might be another solution which might work, but it doesn't. So finally, that is the solution we do promote with other organizations, CSA and DALI and Threat and, and Backnet, one common IP-based infrastructure, all those benefits, advantages I did mention before. I am, would like to make a transition from the environmental transition we did for years now, we're still doing, we never ever stop, more into digital transition, which is the next important step for KNX and other systems. It is also you, members, important step for your future developments, for your future devices. Because 
we need buildings and cities they are connected to IP. We would, would take care of homes and buildings, but we go a bit wider into districts where buildings connected together in area and smart cities based on functioning with KNX already on the way and already well yeah, prepared for future of your devices, for future of KNX technology. I have to, anyway to make a clear statement, KNX is well prepared for this current time and for the future, which is IP driven. We have 8,000 certified interoperable devices. The connectivity is given since 33 years. We have experience. We have this advantage. Yeah, compared to other system that we already have millions of projects that are connected with connected devices. And it's a clear network infrastructure architecture, which is twisted pair, radio frequency, or IP infrastructure. We set up already for years, by the way, this simple, um, I would say, example. Open the window, switch off the Heat heating or air condition is able, available now, 25 years. We've been the first one who did this solution. So sustainable management is settled. We have settled also the digital security, a few words afterwards. And now we're going to the next step, to next level of our canister, which is services. I will explain in a few minutes. First of all, talking about IP-driven buildings, we need something what is absolutely necessary. The security, the cyber security. Yeah, we have already uh, hundreds of IP secure and data secure devices, all of them certified, and we can guarantee that the connectivity outside is secure and connectivity inside the building is secure too. Thanks to all members, they already yeah, develop and offering uh, secure driven devices. These secure driven devices are based or using IS-128 encryption authentication uh, protocol. And what is even more important, both are now standardized in European and also worldwide standardization. Yeah, now we promoting, we do here a lot of promotion, which is well recognized. And we have a lot of interest. I have to admit, members, if you have the opportunity, once in next year, every year, we have this IoT solution worldwide congress. Please attend this fabulous event where IoT is in the focus. If you want to understand where the smart home, smart building technology is moving forward, you have to be here. You will understand. We as KNX, since three years already here, and we are the main partner of IoT Congress, means for us we have a solution which other companies other technologies still looking forward to develop this solution. KNX IoT is there. Specification is ready. We have open source stack for data point. We have open source software for third party API. Ladies and gentlemen, members, your current and future solution is KNX IoT. Hey, please use it because you see and this nice, wonderful picture in the OFU, the connectivity to IoT world is there, the IPv6 based devices, specifications there. We have the first devices already and the semantic project support is available. It's your next business. 
But the story of KNX technology is not here somehow at the end. We are already in the next step of our activities. Technology is moving forward and the technology is services. Smart homes, smart buildings, they are intelligent. Nothing new for you. But the perspectives changes from inside the smart home and buildings to outside. Also, smart home and buildings, non-specialists, they don't need to know KNX, but they have to handle their IoT technology in smart homes buildings. And the semantic description this is really important of data will improve the provision of data and the interoperability. That is then the over next step. Semantic communication is a part of the IoT technology and it is the future language devices, IoT devices will talk together. Just to be sure that is clear what I say. This red frame you see here is that what we all is successful providing technology, devices, solutions. But you see the perspective is changing from inside to outside. You see some data is coming in, weather or, or let's say outlook data or whatever, shopping. And we also providing data to the outside of the building for any kind of smart grid. Many services coming or entering our business, like secure um, services or health services or simple manage, uh, energy management services. All of them are on the way entering or accessing or even requiring data our CANIS devices can offer for them. Well, at the end, statement. I guess the statement is clear and I wanted to push you today, my members, friendly spoken push. You have excellent devices, all of them 8,000 certifiers and many more not certifiers. You know, on the age to enter the IoT world, which is absolutely the world we need to, yeah, to enter this year and next year. And the next one, which was provided by KNX technology, KNX IoT technology, is services. Services are increasingly becoming a business model of the future. Data, data given by you devices members is the new oil. Thank you for listening my presentation. Many good presentations will follow. Keep in touch with us. Keep also here listening the presentations. We have a lot to explain, a lot to share with you. And finally, good luck for Kyanix IoT and buildings they are IP driven, where Kinex IoT is putting all the technology into. I am proud to share this information with you. I am proud to see you next time in IoT and at any other events. Take care. Goodbye.